A very warm welcome to my channel. My name is Merlis and today we're going to focus on the inside of my plastic planner. Remember that we started out with a plastic planner slash notebook. We covered the front and now it is time to cover the inside. Remember in my last video that I already used this footage uh, because of how I explained to do the cover and the belly band and also a little piece of the inside. I am um, repeating this footage to give you the best uh, possible knowledge and information on how my structure and base is for today's page and how I'm going to build up my layers. So when we are talking about the base, the basic is a plastic planner slash notebook uh, and I want it to be covered into beautiful paper. I am using my Distress Collage Medium. Um, I am applying a quite thin even layer on the inside of the cover and I'm going to glue down some old ledger paper. The ledger paper is quite neutral and I think it is a great base to work on on creating this layered page. You can see on the right page I came a little bit short on the ledger paper. That is totally fine. I found a solution, just a strip of paper with a rough edge and I will glue it uh, down on the bottom. It is also to show you not everything is perfect and for every little thing there is a great solution to work with. For the journal page I have selected some labels in a red tone, some more in um, a neutral tone and I am just playing around now with some ephemera pieces and I'm trying to find the right spot and the right kind of uh, layering so it will look interesting. This phase of the video is all about just shuffling around a little bit, uh, placing your elements and trying to see where it will fit uh, best and what you would like to change if you do not like it. Uh, what I'm also looking for, uh, what you can see on the right side, I am putting out some tickets and little pieces of ephemera with numbers. Um, think about uh, keeping it all in the same color scheme. Another thing is to give yourself some slack. I mean, you cannot put it into the right place in just one try. Just uh, be patient and give yourself some time to play around a little bit. And because I already made one of those pages in the front, as you can see, uh, I am turning uh, my pages around just to see if I am still uh, in the mixing and matching uh, look and if it looks cohesive together. I am also a great fan of the black label tape that you can see on the bottom of the page. I think it is uh, something to add contrast to your work and it's also a guidance because later on you will see because of the tape is very black you want to add more elements like that. So it's also a guidance for uh, how you work. A thing that I do with these complex layered pages is taking a photo at the moment when I think uh, this is the best layout and all elements are in the right place. Because when you have a photo on your cell phone, you can always turn back to it to see how you placed your layers. What I discovered in between uh, those labels and paper elements, well, some clear spots and I want them to be filled. So I got out the Tim Holtz collage paper, the photographic one with all those nice and cute little photos and buildings and text. And I'm just going to use parts of the collage paper to fill in those empty gaps. Any further steps that I'm taking before I glue down my papers is to give my papers a brownish ink um, along all sides. And you can do that with the Distress Ink or Archival Ink in the colors of Vintage Photo or Ground Espresso. I started the layering on the right bottom corner and while that corner is already drying a little bit I'm going to focus on the left bottom corner and that is how I work my way up a little bit working in a corner let it dry and focus on another piece of this page. And do not forget to take a good look at your layout on the photo on your cell phone because then you get a good understanding about which layer goes where, underneath, on top or in the middle. 
And while I am working, I can see I have still have some white spots, clear spots. And the design tape from Tim Holtz is very wonderful to fill up those little spaces. Now the rest of the steps, it is all about repeating, repeating and repeating. So same steps over and over again. So I will give you a nice piece of video with some nice music under it and enjoy my process. <laughs> I really love and enjoy working with labels because uh, while well, they give extra opportunities in your work, um, you can work on them even more with some stems or some remnant rubs, maybe a little label on top that you can decorate. And it also provides you with some extra spots where you can journal. In the beginning of the video, I told you that the black label tape on the bottom of the page is a guidance for the rest of the page. And that is because of the black color. It gives contrast. And that is also the reason why I am working with the collage paper, the photographic one. Uh, there are black tones in it. And I think it's adding a great contrast in this page. Later on, you will also see me bring in some darker tones with some mini paper dolls. Earlier in this video, I talked about the labels and how you could decorate them. I got out uh, my stamp set from Tim Holtz, the eccentric one. I have chosen a couple of words that I want to stamp. And every stamp, right now I'm working on the red labels, will get the same stamp on it. So you will get the, the matching uh, look. And when I go to um, like the neutral colored labels, that will also get the same word or number. Now repeat the stamping and fill up those labels until you are happy with the result. When you do not own the stamp set eccentric, uh, you can also think about uh, the field notes stamp set or the correspondence stamp set. And otherwise you have to take a look in your own stash and look for little words and numbers. To fill up the last gaps that I can see on this page, I will use the Tim Holtz design tape to do that. Let's 
last step to finish this page up is to add even more contrast in those darker black tones and I got out some mini paper dolls and I will glue them uh, down on some spots that I think are really cute like for instance a sitting boy or lady on top of a label. This is it for today guys. This was my video for you. I hope you liked it. I hope you got some inspiration out of it. Maybe some new ideas. Um, when you want to check out my other social platforms. Please check out the links in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.